Last night, while we were on the air covering Super Tuesday, there was a storm on the surface of the sun. And that energy, those waves, are traveling toward us at over 4 million miles an hour right now, which means it could arrive as early as between 1 a.m. and 5 a.m. Eastern Time tonight. It could affect a lot of things. Past storms like this have knocked out power grids here on Earth, attacked communications and GPS, and already some commercial airlines have rerouted flights to avoid interference from it. NBC's Tom Costello has a look at what we might be in for. Tom, good evening. Hi, Brian. I've been on the phone with the folks at NOAA in Boulder, Colorado. And in simple terms, the atmosphere around the sun has been blown away, leaving charged particles in a magnetic field, which are now speeding towards the Earth, as you said, 4 million miles an hour. It's been several years since we've had a storm like this. There is the potential that it could interfere with power grids, but that likelihood is low. It can also interfere and affect GPS systems, and it could cause communication problems affecting radio and satellite systems, especially especially high-frequency comms. While it is a good dose of radiation, we're told it's big, not extreme, though. NASA is monitoring it, but doesn't feel the need right now to take any unusual precautions for the astronauts on the orbiting space station. But airlines that fly to and from Asia over the North Pole, they're rerouting because they want to stay in continuous communication. It's really not a radiation as much as that comm issue. NOAA tells me the peak of the storm could come around 5 a.m., they think, 1 and 5 a.m. Eastern time, but 5 is, is a good time. They also insist no danger to us on Earth other than the communications. But, Brian, it could mean some really incredible northern lights, perhaps as far south as the Great Lakes tonight. Back to you. All right. Tom Costello with the latest from Washington. We'll keep an eye on it, obviously.